Now, Mihi, in the headlines, the Maritime Union and Ports of Auckland will ask the Employment Relations Authority for facilitated bargaining next week to resolve their current employment negotiations. Employment lawyer Peter Cullen told New Zealand's REMA that this process should have been followed by Ports of Auckland before they tried to sack its union workers. The problem that the Ports of Auckland's got is that it jumped the gun on the process by deciding to get rid of a big chunk of its workforce when it was still in the middle of negotiations. In other words, when the process is available and the Employment Relations Act hadn't been exhausted. A rally around the tiny Northland town of Moirewa by locked out meat workers has drummed up plenty of community support. Around 500 workers, families, school students and other community members turned out for the march which ended outside the Tally's plant. Spokesman Laurie Nantkeville says it was a community driven march. Too costly is how National saw the prospect of extending its agreement with the Greens. The Memorandum of Understanding signed between the parties in 2008 will stay as it is. Greens co-leader Matilia Tude is disappointed and she thinks the real reason is National is heading in a far right direction. Some of them were costly and that's understandable if there's uh, economic constraints but a large number were not. Like working together for the better protection of child witnesses, targeting loan sharks and rewriting the uh, consumer credit law. Hundreds of Wellingtonians are making their voices heard on the bill that would allow our state-owned assets to be partially sold off. Today is the closing date for submissions to the committee considering the mixed ownership model bill. The Ohariu People's Power Group sought public opinion with 618 people submitting their thoughts. The White House says Asia-Pacific regional security has been threatened by North Korea's decision to launch a long-range rocket today, even though it failed. The rocket ended up in the sea minutes after launch. North Korea says its scientists are trying to find the cause of the launch failure. And the political landscape across the Tasman is in for a shake-up with the resignation of Bob Brown as leader of the Australian Green Party. He's also quitting Parliament in June. He's been succeeded by Christine Milne as leader of the Greens. The tough economic times may be hitting the government in the pocket, but when it comes to spending on prescription drugs, it's a different story. Health Minister Tony Ryle has revealed spending on pharmaceuticals increased by $180 million over the past three years. 67 new medications are now available. And finally, where do the hobbits live? Do they have shops in New Zealand? And can I take my Christmas cake back to New Zealand? Are some of the queries Kiwi diplomats have had to deal with. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade has released a selection of unusual requests. MAFT says consular staff will always do their best to help, but there are limits to the kind of support they can offer. Interesting. That's it from me from the Rima Newsroom. Remember, you can catch our hourly headlines on Shine TV from 6.30 to 9.30pm from Monday to Friday. Nohora mai.